Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. Go ahead and give him praise. Give him honor. Um, you can see my title. Praise God. Praise God. It says, um, first of all, good morning. Give him glory. Give him praise because God is worthy to be praised. When you wake up in the morning, that's the first thing you should do is give God praise. Give him honor and give him glory. Hold on just one moment, you guys. Praise God. All righty. Praise God. So I got up this morning um, and I have to be just very transparent. Sorry about the phone moving like that. I was doing something. But um. God was telling me, said, Deanna, so many of my people are getting mad at their enemies. But you got to remember what David said. So the first thing I want to read, although I have Psalm 23 on here, I want to read Psalm 110.1. And it says, a Psalm of David. It says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. Now notice, Lord called David Lord. See, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies, your footstool. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel geared up this morning. You don't hear what I'm saying. God say, stop complaining because guess what? They are blessing blocks. You know how you step up on stairs? Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. And if you really want to know the truth, the higher you go, oh my God, it's going to be some greater enemies. That's why David had to fight Goliath. Come on, somebody. David was going to be king. You see, oh, let walk with me this morning because I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. He was in the field mining sheep and God said well let me here anoint him for his seasons to prepare his mind his body and his soul then after anoint him I got to give him a test oh, oh it sounds familiar everybody so after you get anointed God got to test you so if you see Goliath you got to understand that you're in your David season so if you're in your David season I suggest you get your slingshot oh come on somebody hallelujah this stuff is real because God is getting ready to promote you Whenever you have enemies, and I have to tell you this, and I know a lot of people don't like it, on your job, in your home, sometimes your own spouse, your children, whoever it may be that God allows to be your enemy. Now, hold on. They're not fully your enemy. The enemy is using them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, this thing going to get good in a minute. Hallelujah. So God is allowing them to do what they do and Actually, they're training you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, Pharaoh and Moses, are, uh, come on, somebody. Although they had grew up together, he was training Moses the whole time. Oh, come on, somebody. Stop complaining about your enemies and thank them. Oh, come on, somebody. I didn't say be sarcastic. I say thank them. Because guess what? Now I understand when he said bless your enemies. You know why you bless them? Because the more you bless them, the more that God is going to use them. To bless you. Oh, come on, somebody. There's blessing blockers. And all you're doing is stepping on them like stairs. And you're going to your elevation, thus saith the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me read Psalm 23 so I can really nail this thing down. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's self-explanatory. Verse 2. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leading me beside the still waters. We all going to die. Y'all know that. Praise God. He restoreth my soul. That means whatever you're going through, whatever you are going through, God restores your soul. When you pray, when you fast, oh, come on, somebody, when you meditate on his word. He said he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You know why you're going to win? Because you are representing God. And if you're standing in for God, then he is not going to look bad. Come on, somebody. I don't care what it looks like now. I don't care what it feels like now. I don't care what the enemy says. I don't care what the enemy does. He cannot win. God is preparing you for victory. For, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You better stop fearing. Oh, come on, child of God. You have the Lord thy God. Who can stand against God? Who can go against God? Who can win against God? I don't care. It may feel like they winning. It may feel like they are bigger than you. Come on. I'm sure when David saw Goliath, oh, but honestly, he ain't had no fear. David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that defy the army of the living God? Don't you know you're a part of 
of the army? All you got to say is the same thing David said. Who is it that defy the army of the living God? You better understand what I'm saying up in here. You don't feel no evil. As a matter of fact, you look evil dead in the eye and say, you have no victory. You have no victory. As a matter of fact, God has given me permission to, and authority over you. Come on, somebody. Luke 10, 19. So let me continue. He said, I will feel no evil for thou art with me. Don't you know that God is with you to the day you die? I don't care what you go through. I don't care how you go through it. I don't care who you go through it with. God is with you and God will not leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah to his name. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Oh, that means if you sin, you're going to get it. I don't care what nobody says. Yes, I promise you, it will be reciprocated. Whatever you do comes back to you, whether you like it or not. It may not be in the same form, but you will experience, I promise you. Five, that's one of, now this is the one. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I could not understand that scripture for years. I was like, okay, all right, we got enemies. But now I understand it. You will be in the presence of your enemies when God is getting ready to bless you, whether you like it or not. Because he says, I'm going to prepare that table, but they won't sit at the table. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You better understand what I'm saying this morning. Thou anointest my head with oil. I'm talking about oil from heaven. The anointing of God will help you be healed, delivered, stand strong in the face of adversity city and your enemies. My cup run it over. That is not just with blessings. That is with the anointing of God. Praise God. Praise God. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Those that are rooted with God. You will stand with God. God will prepare a table before you. God will strengthen you. God will bless you. God will keep you. It does not matter. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I have another one that God told me to share with you this morning. And this this one is Psalm 51. I'm going to try to um, make it a little bigger. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Psalm 51 is a prayer of repentance in case you don't know. Praise God. So let me go ahead and read it. Have mercy upon me, God. You got to ask God for mercy. And you know we're not always right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sometimes you get besides yourself or you sin or you think or thought that's not of God. Oh, God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tenderest mercy, if it had not been for the grace of God, the mercy of God, where would we all be? So don't act like you all that, you arrogant people. You, you, I, I, I don't even want to get into that one. Let me continue. Blot out my transgressions. You got to ask God to forgive you, but also you got to forgive others. Come on somebody. Cause some of you got some ugly ways. You don't want to forgive nobody. I'm serious. Let me tell you something. I have to go here. Church folks, you need to stop acting like God, where's your spirit of joy of love. God did not call you to be mean and ugly spirited and hateful and unforgiving and conniving and sneaky. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah to his name. Number to. He said, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. You got to ask God to cleanse you, to keep you and cleanse me from my sin. Three, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Four, against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. I don't care what you do. God will deal with you. Come on, somebody that you may be found with just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought for in iniquity and in sin that my mother conceived me. We're talking about Adam and Eve. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Behold, six, you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts. You will make me to know wisdom. You got to ask God for discernment and wisdom. There is not nothing that I don't know that God wants me to know. As soon as I meet somebody, oh, come on, somebody, I got to say this. Y'all better stop playing with men and women of God. I, I'm going to tell you right now, something happened yesterday and uh, I'm, I'm on course. I'm on the same course and I'm telling you they had no fear of God and listen to what I'm saying. When you represent God, God is with you because he says, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. I'm telling you right now, you see you witches and warlocks, you're going to back up because I'm telling you that power of God is going to hit you exactly where you stand. Y'all better learn to have reverence because I promise you this, God will make you reverence him. All oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Just wait for it. You see, you can get away with it now and I'm going somewhere. I don't care who you work for. I don't care what assignment you are. I don't care who you come against. I don't care what you say. I don't care who you try to set up. I don't care what you do. Let me tell you, God is in control and everything that we do should be accounted for. I don't care who you are. You just wait for it. Oh, come on somebody. But he says, but deceivers and liars shall wax worse. Oh, I just said something. Hallelujah. All right. Let me continue. He says, 
Purge me with hyssop. Ooh, that's a good one. Hallelujah. You want God to purge you with hyssop. Hallelujah. And I should be clean. Wash me and I should be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Sometimes God will allow you to go through some, but it is not to break you. It is to build you. It will feel like a breaking and it is a breaking. It is breaking off those ways, breaking off those sins, breaking off them lies from your tongue. God is restoring you. God is purifying you. That's when you go through test that's when you go through trials you are under the purification mode oh come on somebody it's called purging praise god praise god hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities creating me a clean heart says the lord do not cast me away from your presence and do not take the holy spirit from me hallelujah let me put it a little small so i can read that last one then i will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted praise god praise god and that was the word of god and the reason why he says at the end he says and sinners should be converted excuse me you guys I, um you know in the morning sometimes my sinus but i will tell you something you cannot preach and teach and reach if you are not converted yourself i just said something too many people are broken and trying to preach and teach and, and, and i mean you can't do it because now you're developing broken leaders and i think that's what we have in this generation a lot of excuse me, broken people that are trying to teach. And now you are teaching broken so that broken spirit is being passed on. You have to be strong in this hour, but I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. It is time for you to get on your face. It is time for you to pray more. It is time for you to repent. Now I kept hearing that this morning. Soon as I woke up, I heard repent. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not the season, nor would it ever be a season to play with God. I had to learn the hard way. I'm very transparent on purpose. I did not get here by my own recontinence. Come on somebody hallelujah it was god god allowed me to go through so much hell just to be honest with you until i wanted heaven i said god i'm sorry i repent i'm tired i'm tired i don't want to live like this i don't want to be like this change me god change my heart i had to renew my mind what am i saying you can't change on your own people you're trying to do this through courses through through your own it cannot be done you have to ask the holy spirit holy spirit cleanse me purify me wash my tongue my mind my thoughts and then you have to follow it up with the bible you have to get in the bible so the water of the word the water the bible is a cleansing agent it will cleanse you it will purify you it will help you do right i just said something some of you are trying to do right all by yourself it cannot be done the flesh is a mess oh y'all don't hear what i'm saying the flesh is a mess the flesh will cause you to get in your emotions to do things that is not of god you have to stay connected to god god keep me every day god keep my mind god keep my spirit god keep my soul god let me be obedient i just said something right there you cannot be obedient unless god helps you the holy ghost convicts you and when the holy ghost convicts you then you have to be obedient i'm gonna tell you why a lot of people are going through stuff because you're not obedient and how i know because i used to be disobedient so don't play with me hallelujah and i'm telling you it cost me more than i wanted it to cost i mean i lost a lot i gained a lot but i lost a lot y'all ain't ready for me hallelujah the first thing you have to do is be obedient because God cannot trust you if you're not hallelujah and that's why you're not seeing some of the blessings in your life because you love god you worship god i see that but i'm gonna tell you right now he will not trust you unless you're obedient because if not that means the enemy can come in and just tell you to do this that's why it says in james that your mouth praise me but your heart is far from me y'all don't hear what i'm saying say you 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 talk a good game oh come on somebody i'm a prayer for you talk a good game but your actions he sees your actions he sees what you do behind closed doors he see who you speaks with he see how you apply he said you're playing he said you fornicate oh come on somebody i'm not trying to bash nobody i'm telling you the truth before god god sees what you do in the dark oh come on somebody he just said it all hidden things should be known you cannot fool God and truth be told, you can't fool a child of God because wisdom and discernment will will find you your sin will find you out i'm telling you please please repent whatever you are doing ask God to forgive you Change your ways and know you cannot do it on your own. Say, God, I surrender. Say the Lord's Prayer. God, I surrender. 
I surrender to you my will, my way. Teach me how to do this thing. Show me how to stay connected. Show me how not to have an ugly mouth. Show me how not to be jealous. Show me how not to be jealous hearted. Show me how not to be hateful. Show me how not to be ugly. Show me how to not to want to get people back. Y'all know what I'm saying because that's the major one in Christians. And how you get people back, you talk about them, you gossip, you try to ostracize their name. I'm telling you right now, everything you do comes back to you. And, and hold on. I hear you, God. Also to your generations. You wonder why your children going through something? Come on, somebody. It's called generational curses that you started. Your grandmother, your grandfather, their pers- their grandfather, their grandmother. That's generational curses. You, what you thought. Hallelujah. The sins will fall on your children. Y'all think this is a game? This is not a game. So it behooves you to do the right thing for everybody involved. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody haven't read their Bible. So God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you start your day with God. Finish it with God. Pray throughout the day with God. Fast. I'm telling you people. It's so much getting ready to come. It's already here. They just haven't uh, invoked it yet. God is. And the only reason God is delaying everything. So everybody can get stronger. Stop. I got to say it. Stop sinning so much. The body of Christ is in trouble. I'm going to say it again. The body of Christ is in trouble. Y'all sinning and getting in the pulpit. Y'all y'all fornicating, getting in the pulpit. Y'all drinking, getting in the pulpit. Y'all lying, getting in the pulpit. Oh, oh, and I heard this one heavily. Stop cursing. Stop cursing. Saints don't curse. Well, where you get that at? How your mouth going to receive blessings and cursing? You are a liar before God. Wash your mouth out. Come on, somebody. The world then came in and tainted and then thank you, Lord. I hear you. He said, y'all not watching y'all gates. Watch what you hear, what you read, whatever you, whatever you feed on, that's what you become. What am I saying? If you feed on foolishness and reality shows and like power and all that stuff, all that garbage. And yeah, I say this garbage. You can get mad at me if you want to. I really don't care. Whatever you allow in your spirit, that's what you become. Hello. Like it won't, like it talk like it. You think it's a game? So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.